Ah. Hello everyone, this is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to Hump Day. It is indeed on Hump Day, October 9th, 2024, day 283. <laughs> yes, I, I should be able to avoid double checking or anything like that. I do that a lot. But today, I do not need to. However, I will say I am on a short amount of time right now. I spent way too much time trying to find a world to go into under new and noteworthy. Ooh, nothing really patching too much of my fancy. There was a PC only world that I was going to. I was like, oh, the, 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 the thumbnail looks all nice. Looks nice enough to try out. But yeah, it wasn't a good idea. It was not a good idea to go there because the world's... The world file size was almost a full gigabyte. It was like 987 megabytes. That's a little much for VR chat. So, uh, person, whoever made that world, I'm gonna see what was the name of that world again. Uh, CTG, this is so listed on here. Hold on. Uh, there was a monolith, but it was a PC only world. Hang on. What was the name of it? Do, 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 do. Um, it wasn't Progenitor. Man, I was really slowing. There are a lot of PC Wombie Worlds here right now, too. But, uh, none of them really caught my eye. There were a few I tried, but the lighting was bad, or they had, you know, music going that you can't turn off. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, let's see, what was the name of that world? Because it, it was almost- You know what? There's an easy way to figure this out. Recently visited. It was Lucid Dream. If you find that on a new and noteworthy as a PC only, I can't recommend going there if you have uh, limited resources on your PC because it is almost a full gigabyte in file size. So I can't recommend going there. But today, right now, we are in a place called Flem Apart. So C L P M A P P A R T by Clem Beatbox. It's under new and noteworthy right now. And the description is just Clem Apart. And it's just a... I think it's just supposed to be a simple apartment. I can't say there's really too much noteworthy here. Other than a few flashy things and a spinning raccoon on the wall. I don't have an answer for it. Uh, I took a quick look around. I didn't really see anything, but I'm in a rush. Because I do have... A near seven pound pork butt in the oven right now that's been roasting since noon. And by the look of this hand, I have like one hour left in the oven and I still need to get over to a, gr a grocery store called El Rodeo that's near here to get cilantro and some salsa. Because uh, that's the only that El Rodeo in this town is the only grocery store here that has the best quality salsa you can get in town. So I gotta walk over there really soon. So I'm pretty sure after I'm done recording this, I just need to change and go. Then I can come back and edit after I've gotten the pork butt out of the oven to let it rest for... Well, I'm gonna say probably about 30 minutes, like 15 to 30 minutes, because it's, it's a big pork butt and it's been in there with all the spices and the modello. He's in there for hours. I can tell you right now, our house smells so good right now. We are going to have amazing street tacos today. Or, you know, in just a short bit, we're going to have really good street tacos because, wow, does it smell so good in here right now? It's actually make like, my door is closed right now and I can smell it here. Ew. <laughs> oh, ah, those spices, they go so well together. Oh man, I, I think we're just excited to have it because see, even Buttercup came home from school today and she's like, the house smells really good. What did she say it smells like? I don't know. But the debate was if we were going to do uh, the pork street tacos because I usually only do chicken for street tacos and sometimes I'll do like a, a beef brisket. But I saw the pork button. I wanted to do pork butt. So the question was, are we going to do the street tacos or are we going to do pork butt and take pork butts and taters? If you've seen cow and chicken, you'll know what I'm talking about. I I do miss that, though. 
The unfortunate thing is, like, out of all the streaming services, none of them have cow and chicken. And if you look online to even purchase seasons or even episodes of cow and chicken, there are no DVDs available for cow and chicken. None. In fact, the only way to get it is to purchase individual episodes on Amazon Prime. That's the only way I've been able to see getting anything for cow and chicken. Come on. Cow and chicken was one of the good ones. Bring it back. Bring it back for us, okay? And, but... Un unfortunately, I, re I really am just short for time right now. Because... Sweet D's been a bit fussy. Really, it has been out of it today. But I... We kept her up again. It's our fault. But... What with all that going on and the fact I'm... I'm getting up the rush, but like I said, I have to work to the store. I'm, I'm sorry, but these things, you know, they, they kind of just happen. But... Uh, hmm... Hmm... Uh, seems like my tracking's off a little bit, too. I have been having a few tracking issues, too, but... You know, uh... Like, my tracking just gets away from me. I don't know why. It's like you constantly recalibrate and you make sure all your your base station, you know, your lighthouses, they make sure they're all working and they are. And for some reason, your tracking will drag you that way in, into the floor or something. No real explanation why, but it's still frustrating. And I looked at some of the other options out there, but I think I want to stick with you. I just hope that they keep the 3.0, the uh, Tracker 3.0s of it on the market, because I don't want to have to switch to the, um, the new HTC ones in the future, because I don't know how well they work with a Valve Index, and I prefer the Index if I ever upgrade. This is like way out there. This is nowhere in our budget. This is just wishful thinking. I don't want to go to the, the new HTC because it doesn't do the um, inside-out tracking. It's built in, and I like inside-out tracking because I can do a little more. But that's me, of course. I do I do like that it has the wireless capability that can connect to the PC. So it can do either, kind of like, you know, Quest can. But I want the inside-out tracking. That's what I really like. But no, they, they decided they'd be more to be good. They just wanted to be a prissy prissy HTC. It would be too good for their old, for their other technology that they went, that they went to great lengths of making like, oh, that technology, we worked on that. Let's uh, say, no, you don't need those anymore. It's like, I like these. I like the inside out racking. It's a higher level of accuracy that I can put my hands down. Without them circling this. I can put my hands down away so they're not just like this. I don't like walking around like this. Hey guys, um, do you see? Do you do you see that my ha my hands work right? They're, they're working. I have to look at my hands in order for them to be up. I don't like that. Pardon me for going on a tangent for that. And and of course, in terms of gaming, Lilia is very frustrated with Genshin Impact right now. It's it's not Holyo versus Fall. Like. So many of the ones for the new Archon Quest for 5.1. Like, a lot of the vocal lines are just missing. You get Paimon. But most of the others, you don't get them because they're part of the voice actors union who were on strike. And frankly, I can only blame the voice actors at this point. The voice actors union didn't rein in their, their talent. Who are just bashing the entire industry the entire time. They're like, oh no, the threat of AI is here. Let's go on strike until they say, okay, we're not going to use AI. After you spent several, like, a few years doing nothing but bashing your audience and the industry itself and, and, the, and the people you're working for. You spent all that time just doing nothing but bashing them and disparaging those you work for. So, uh, like, my question is, why would any, any studio... Continue working with the voice actors, even if they don't rein in that behavior. It's like... It, it doesn't make any sense to me. I try not to rant about these things, but Lily is really frustrated because... She can't do subtitles. Which means... Like, like Tara already talked about why she can't do subtitles. 
So right now, Genshin Impact is almost completely unplayable for her right now. Because, because of the terrible behavior leading up to the fact that, that studios are now contemplating AI because of cost, and the fact that there's more and more of the talent, and the, and the talent studios are just becoming too difficult to work with, they're contemplating, they're probably contemplating going AI. But because of this strike, the game's unplayable for someone who doesn't have access to it at the moment because of the lack of being able to do the subtitles. I blame the voice talent for this. I blame the voice actors union. At this point, when it comes to the entertainment industries, their unions don't really do much. I haven't seen any benefit for them, so if you want, if you can even go on a little tangent and, and, to sit and to tell us how we are wrong. But if you're going to tell us that we're wrong, tell, the, tell those unions to stop disparaging those they're working for. And then stop disparaging the audience that's paying in to, to take part in viewing what they're working on. Believe it or not, most people are either just very average to good. Not everyone's a terrible person. But unfortunately, those with the, you know, the voices and the, the power to do all this stuff, and by that I mean, or qualify their voices. There are a lot of bad actors in that. A lot of narcissists, too, but unfortunately, the entertainment industry is filled with narcissists. But, again, reigning the terrible behavior so you don't have the risk of being replaced by AI or non-union workers. This is, at this point, with business, with companies like Hoyoverse, they will hit a point where they're not going to be able to work with these unions anymore. With all incredibly active. The their talent is in the activist in, in the in the activism worlds. Because Hoyoverse is owned by China. China does not allow their companies to work with foreign activists, let alone domestic activists. Because then it could be considered trying to undermine the, the Communist Party. So if they take this up. They'll be forced to fire the, the entire English studio. So they don't go so, so Hoyoverse doesn't end up being completely stuck down by China. This, they, have a lot, they have a lot more at stake that these voice actors don't understand. Or were just willfully ignorant to. How about that? Anyway, I shouldn't be ranting about this because that's not where our channel's for, is to say, hey, we're, two, we're 283 days sober. We're making really great progress here. We feel fantastic. I hope everyone else is enjoying their home day. It's really weird that I went on this rant, so I apologize, but I hope everyone else takes care of themselves. Hug your mothers and your fathers. If you're okay with that, of course. And let your family ne members know that, that you're thinking about them. <laughs> it's important to think about your family. You can, you can do that with your friends, too. You can do that with your friends. But, you know, family's important, too. But please take care of yourselves. Always take, make sure you're taking care of yourselves, too. Because if you don't, then... It, it, it's at the concept of... Always secure your face mask... Your, your safety face mask on a plane before fastening it on someone else. Because otherwise, you've got two problems. Being two unconscious people. Secure your mask first with me. Take care of yourself before worrying about other people. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy your hump day. We'll see you all tomorrow on Thursday. We'll see if Terra's gonna be in here or not. Or if he's going to test out the webcam function with this phone. Take care, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. And I almost walked into my window. That was close. <laughs>